Time to talk about a new episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. So after my boy Obi-Wan was running from Darth Vader like a little bitch in a previous episode, that one female that you see throughout this episode, she put Obi-Wan in the back to tank. And I got some really disgusting flashbacks of the Book of Disappointment, also known as the Book of Boba Fett, where Boba Fett was taking a nap in some water a large portion of that show. It just made no sense to me how, how often he was in the water. Even Chrysanthemum had to snatch his ass out like, yo, you need to be a part of this show because it's your show. So I was like, don't be doing Obi-Wan like that. And Obi-Wan, he needs time, according to these characters, to stop being a bitch and a coward. I'm like, what you mean he needs time? Order 66 happened a long ass time ago. Whatever happened to the speech that Yoda gave in Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, where he's like, mourn them, do not, miss them, do not. Attachment leads to jealousy, the shadow of greed, that is. Am I, am I the only one that remembers that line from Master Yoda? I'm like, Obi-Wan has been fucking up so much that Qui-Gon ain't even been talking to him. I'll be surprised if Qui-Gon shows up as a force ghost, because I'm pretty sure he's disappointed in Obi-Wan. Like, so, after all the stuff I taught you, you decided to hide away and run like a little bitch the whole show. This your show and everybody else is having scenes that are better than yours. And they happen to be females. Speaking of the female characters, let's talk about young Leia. That, that actress is adorable and she's charming. She's intelligent. And I love the way that she delivers her lines. Like that child is well beyond her years. Like somehow she has more maturity than a lot of adults that you would come across. And we see that Leia is being interrogated by Reva, also known as the black chick with a bad attitude that has absolutely no character development. I'm like, how the hell is a scene with dialogue more impressive than Obi-Wan using his lightsaber? Because he uses his lightsaber in a couple of scenes, but the way that they shot it, nothing about it felt intense, and it wasn't even that cool. It actually fell pretty flat, which surprised me. I'm like, man, just, just get back to the young Leia and Reva, man. Like, these female characters are better than you in your own show. You know, it's this definitely the Leia show. It ain't Obi-Wan Kenobi no more. It's the Leia show. My boy is a babysitter. He's struggling to use his powers. He's so fucking whack. Qui-Gon Jinn doesn't even want to communicate with this nigga. I'm just like, nah. You, you, what, what am I watching? And a lot of this episode was really boring. It just, it was. I was just like, what the hell? You even have Darth Vader show up, which was cool. And I was just like, yeah, he easily had one of the best moments, if not the best moment in the episode. But I still say that, uh, you know, young Leia, you know, her dialogue scenes were still even cooler than Vader shit. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? You know what I mean? It's like they this it's almost like the writers are like, man, this shit is so weak that we got to sprinkle Vader in here every once in a while to increase the excitement of the audience because they know that this show ain't about shit except you just be sitting there wanting more and trying to understand why so much stuff has been retconned and that these writers just don't know what the hell they're doing. Terrence out.